your Storm Team 2 forecast right now. Let's take a look back at the last time it was this cold. That was just over a month ago, November 13th. We saw a low of 5 degrees. That was the record uh, earliest single digit temperature in Dayton's history. And now we are back in the single digits. It's seven degrees right now in Troy, five in Bell Fountain, Wapakoneta, and in Richmond. We're up to 12 in Dayton. We did drop to nine degrees at least this morning. Now let's do the decade challenge with single digits, shall we? We are looking at 94 single digit lows over the last 10 years, 28 lows that dropped below zero. Now if we look at that on average, we see at least nine single digit lows in a year, at least over the last 10 years, and that varies to about three lows below zero in a year, but a lot, several years we didn't see any lows below zero. Looking specifically at December over the last 10 years, we've seen 11 single digit lows in the month of December. That's not on average, that's across 10 years, and three lows below zero. The countdown to winter is still two days away, so that's a lot of numbers we just talked about and unfortunately if you are looking forward to cold winter temperatures more snow a white Christmas it's not going to happen with these temperatures we will be in the mid to upper 40s for much of next week so winter will start off on an above normal uh, start Here's a look at your weekend forecast. Temperatures will be in the 40s all weekend long. Starting with Friday, we'll make it up to 42 degrees with all that sunshine. We'll be 44 degrees on Saturday and Sunday. We'll be in the upper 40s. We'll see a few clouds Saturday and Sunday, but for now we are waking up with high pressure in the Miami Valley. That's the reason for the cold temperatures, the clear skies, and the calm winds. But even a south wind at 7 miles per hour has dropped our wind chill down to two degrees in Dayton this morning. In your hour power forecast, we will get up into the 20s by lunchtime 30 shortly after that. We're looking at a high today around 33 degrees. Future track, there's not too much to show you on there, at least not until we get to Friday evening and Saturday morning. That's when we'll start to see some clouds move into the area, but overall no precipitation is expected. Looking at temperatures, here's why we are warming up. We are going to start to see what we call a high pressure ridge developing over pretty much the eastern half of the United States. That's going to bring those mild temperatures into the area heading into next week. So a quick look at your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast and you'll notice there's those temperatures. 48 degrees by Monday, Tuesday. I would say 50 degrees is now the question in your Christmas day high. 46. You can see the latest updates on our Storm Team 2 weather app. It's free in both app stores and now Katie Kinney has your time saver traffic.